Hey everyone, so I was asked just the other day from a facilities manager the difference between a firewall and a fire barrier. And uh, they were saying, they were looking at their, their the stenciling on some of their walls and they said fire walls. And he's like, well, that's that's the same thing as a fire barrier, that's what, and that's what they had been taught. And, and it's unfortunate, I've seen this time and time again where we're using these words interchangeably. And a fire wall is not a fire barrier. And a fire barrier is not a firewall. I tell our team all the time, anybody that I encounter, words have meaning, phrases have meaning. How we say things, the words that we use have context. And when you're talking to somebody who understands the difference, they're, they're gonna derive it differently. So whenever, whenever we say firewall, it has a very specific meaning and a specific intent, as well as fire barrier. And the two are different. So I thought it was a good opportunity for us to discuss the difference between the two. So in uh, a, a fire barrier is what you will see most commonly uh, in our hospitals and you will see them in common areas such as a occupancy separation uh, between a business occupancy and a, and a healthcare occupancy. Uh, and that occupancy separation, anything separating from uh, healthcare occupancy has to have a two hour fire barrier. So, and that's very important, a barrier. And uh, what really the intent of a fire barrier is compartmentalization. So we have fire compartments. And we're all very familiar with smoke compartments in hospitals uh, and, and the segregation of, of smoke compartments. They're, the same applies really with a fire barrier. Uh, and we compartmentalize the fire, uh, fire around a fire barrier uh, to either separate buildings that or separate the, the building into to different uh, fire compartments, or uh, an easier way of thinking about it is hazardous storage areas. So when we have a new hazardous storage area uh, and we add we have sprinklers in new occupancy chapter, chapter 18, well, if it exceeds 100 square feet, then we also have to have a, uh, a it has to be rated as well. And uh, that's very, very important to understand. So now we have a fire barrier that is separating uh, contiguously on all sides. The fire barrier goes all the way to, to deck. So now we have this, this compartment uh, inside of uh, the hospital and that's eight, that is a fire compartment. So that's most commonly a few areas where we're going to see fire barriers. Uh, the fire wall is very, very different. And actually, if you search NFPA 101 2012 edition, we follow 2012 because that's what CMS has adopted for federal Medicare Medicaid reimbursement. Uh, if you look, if you if you do a search through uh, NFPA 101, I recommend using NFPA Link. They've recently uh, had a good friend at NFPA hook me on NFPA Link. It it works incredibly well once you adapt to it. Um, when you search firewall, the phrase only comes up a few times and that's intentional. And uh, it actually points you to uh, NFPA 221, which is the standard for firewalls. Uh, and if you search IBC and you look in the definition of the International Building Code, firewalls in NFPA 221, the definition is very similar in the International Building Code, IBC. So what our architects and engineers design to uh, and that's that's very very important to to understand because a firewall has a very specific meaning. A firewall is intended to be standing uh, after the event of a complete structural collapse of the structure next to it. So what does that mean? Let's let's evaluate where we might see a firewall as opposed to a fire barrier. So a firewall. Uh, would most commonly be seen in an addition to a hospital. So let's use the example of I'm adding on, it's an older hospital, um, originally built concrete construction or CMU, um, and I'm adding on a different type of construction to that building, and let's say it's an, uh, an MOB, right? Medical office building. Uh, and that construction type changes well, because of that construction type change, sometimes we will do a firewall, meaning that that uh, fire that the, if there's a fire in the MOB, 
it, the MOB will completely burn to the ground before the firewall separating the two is uh, um, effective. So another great example would be a hospital that has an attached parking garage to it, right? So we clearly don't want the fire to spread from a parking garage over to the hospital. So the addition of a firewall uh, is almost always uh, guaranteed whenever you have that kind of scenario. So bringing this back, that when we have, when we say things, uh, you know, I tell, tell people all the time, I already said it, we, words have meaning. So using and leveraging those words carefully uh, is very, very important. And understanding that a firewall is not a fire barrier and a fire barrier is not a firewall, right? When you, when you approach uh, somebody in the construction industry or even a uh, fire protection engineer, like understanding uh, and researching and going, and going to figure out the difference between the two because a firewall, had, a downstream of all of that, firewalls have different uh, criteria associated with how they are constructed, clearly, uh, and uh, the amount of penetrations, what can penetrate, the UL listing assembly, how it's tested, everything is different, right? So making sure that that uh, you're aligning on that terminology and even whenever you're reviewing like your life safety drawings and you're making changes in the field that you understand if you see firewall versus fire barrier, sometimes they, they are incorrect on the stenciling that's out in the field. So some verification is sometimes needed as you're going through like a decommissioning process where you're looking at opportunities to decrease the amount of uh, ITM activities because that wall may no longer, wall or barrier may no longer be required to be rated. So I'll provide some additional information in the comments below, but uh, I just wanted to, to highlight uh, that our words and phrases have meaning. Um, and if you wanna learn more about firewalls versus fire barriers, I'll give you a couple of links to go and check it out. Happy learning, y'all.